Well, the background to the Springwood campus is that in 2012, Bournemouth Borough Council and it's a community of schools agreed to build a new school campus for 60 children and young people with autism at Linwood School. The trouble was that the main school site at Alma Road was already full and we knew there were more children with autism in Bournemouth who needed special school placements. So in January 2014, Springwood Campus opened with just 30 children and by September 2014, almost all of the 60 places had been filled. 42 of the places are for children and young people who have autism and learning difficulties and 18 of the places are for children and young people with high functioning autism or Asperger's syndrome. Pupils here are aged between 2 and 19. Springwood campus is built on the same site as Heathlands Primary School and this co-location brings benefits to both schools. The Springwood campus has been built to very high specification by local contractors using a modern modular build. The accommodation was designed by Linda Bannister, the head of the school, using her many years of experience and her specialist expertise. It is purpose-built to meet the needs of the children with autism and the staff who work there. Parents and carers of the children and young people who attend the Springwood campus were involved in planning the build right from the start. But when they had their first tour of the school in November 2013, they were really impressed by the quality of the accommodation and by the attention to detail. They saw firsthand how all areas of the school had been designed and built so that their children would feel calm, secure and ready to learn. My name's Debbie and I'm the mum of Jamie, who's at Springwood Special School. Well, Jamie's had experience of both mainstream and special schools and I'm so pleased that he's had the opportunity to come to a specially designed autistic school. He seems so much happier, calmer and I'd say generally less anxious. And now he's in post 16, he's learning life skills which hopefully will help him in his future. Hello, my name's Tony. I'm the father of Olivia who attends Springwood School. In year 10 and 11 when she moved up to Bournemouth Grammar School for girls. Her attendance was in the low 20s. Very difficult to get her to school. Lots of meetings and obviously things weren't going in the right direction. Since Olivia's been here, her attendance is up into 99%. Uh, she started in January 2014 and it's now September 2014. And that's, um, well, we're extremely happy. She's happy. Um, which is fantastic. Springwood campus has been built with three multi-sensory rooms. They all use state-of-the-art technology to program different special effects that help each of the children and young people's development by providing a calming or stimulating environment through clever use of images, sound, colour, music and even smells. Springwood campus has an important place in building a better Bournemouth. It's building local school capacity. As I've said earlier, Springwood is part of Linwood School, an already outstanding special school that offers excellent value for money to the local community. It's building confidence and trust. Parents and carers of young children and young people with autism are confident that Springwood is able to meet their children's needs. Springwood has recruited a number of new specialist staff. They have been attracted to working in this highly specialist school alongside the existing experienced team. Springwood is able to offer a very comprehensive range of specialist expertise in autism education. Springwood offers support and guidance to all local schools but has developed a particularly special relationship with Heathland School because of its co-location. It's building early foundations. Springwood now offers early bird support to parents of very young children with autism. This is a nationally accredited program that helps parents understand their children's needs and how these can be better managed. And finally, it's building expectations. Springwood is full, and there are even more families who would like their child to have a place. There is planning already underway to build more post-16 places for Springwood on another site within the next 12 months. But this can only go ahead if there is capital funding available. <laughs>